Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh brother. Oh no. Hello everyone, Loganator here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now, our mission, I guess you could say, for what we're going to do this episode will be similar to that of our last video, to build the biggest possible airplane this time, instead of a rocket. Now, in terms of gravity, I have this going... Uh, this will help us know the center of mass, lift, and thrust. Because um, things will work a little differently uh, when you're flying with wings and, and, and such. Uh, let's add this and this. Let's move this forward. Uh, yeah. I will talk to you in a bit when I uh, have something built. All right, I believe I did it right. I believe the center of lift is supposed to be the center of the gravity. And the center of thrust doesn't quite matter just as long as it's centered which it is because these things are put on with the mirror symmetry mode that's what it is um yeah kind of like a big plane uh we'll go with jumbo jet one yeah and let's launch. All right, here we are outside. Looking pretty stable. Uh, let's get, I don't know if that will work, but let's have this on. Full throttle and launch. Oh boy. Here are those puppies purr. The moon on the horizon, or the moon. And we have liftoff. Little, little back heavy. There we go, now we're level. Kind of going downward though. Oh, oh no. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> oh, but we still have our rear jet. I don't think it's enough. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. Let's see if we can make something bigger something larger all right made something a bit bigger a bit longer actually but most of this is just a, a cargo bay i kind of put a little fuel tanks there for uh to make it a little heavier in the back um it's all kind of a balancing game with uh with airplanes um, actually, I should add some uh, some structure here, so it's uh, nice and strong. All right, that seems good. Super jumbo jet, yes, super jumbo jet. That sounds good. Let's launch. Oh boy, very bouncy. Yeah. Starting out pretty good. 
Open that, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, this could pass as a cargo jet, no problem. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the beluga, that, that big beluga plane thing. Um, yeah, that, but long. Anyway, it's full throttle and launch. Oh, jeez. I forgot I put powerful jets on this thing. Ah, that's a thing I learned. You retract the jeer with G. Oh my god, I can't hear myself speak over this the sound of those things. Oh my god, there we go. Yeah, uh... Uh, uh-oh. Not enough power! Ah. Uh. But it was a soft landing, because it was severely underpowered. Um, I think I could try that again with, with, uh, with more power. And we're back. Uh, uh, not with uh, golf. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, yeah, add more thrust. Add these little tube things. Added flaps. I forgot I did not add flaps. And it might be a little back heavy this time. Hopefully that is okay. Let's go. Maybe a little less power this time. Why are you veering to the side? Stop turning to the left, please. No. Ah. Okay, I believe I uh, resolved the issue. I just put these forward a little bit. I uh, also added these little wheels, so in case it falls backwards, it rolls instead of scratches along, and then I lose engines and stuff. And it looks like it's uh, balanced out now, so uh, let's give it a go. Oh! Uh, oh no. I did not put the balance thing, so now it's just three engines. Let's see if we can do it with just three! Oh no. Oh no. Oh brother. Oh no. Well, that could have gone better. But it could have also gone worse. Okay, uh, a little bouncy, but it should be doing better now. Hopefully, yeah, let's go, and we have four engines this time, hopefully that's enough power, it's certainly enough that I can hardly hear myself, there, that sounds better. Oh no, why is it climbing like this? Ah! No! Ah!
Hmm, maybe it's time for a new design. Something like this. Hmm. We shall call it the Bermuda Triangle. Because I'm going to guess any Kermans that go inside this thing are going to disappear. There we go, all structural. Nothing flapping about. I think we're A-OK -okay to start the day. Oh my god, so loud. Ah. Go, my Dorito, go! Oh jeez, this thing's flying and it didn't even leave the ground yet. I think we might be going a little too fast. Man, I did not think this would be a very successful vehicle, but it's probably the most successful out of all of them. Wow, yes, go my flying Dorito. Can we do a barrel roll? Yes, we can. That was a pretty good one, if I do say so myself. Fly, fly, my dear, to new heights. And faster power. Since this thing is literally just a rod of fuel with wings attached, it is just a spaceship pointed sideways. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring this thing back for a landing. Mind the G's. Attention passengers. Are you feeling the need for speed? Just kidding, there's no passengers, cause it's just fuel. Oh, oh, can we do it? Can we butter the landing? Oof, no. I don't think I can stop. Uh, we technically landed. I know you, you guys didn't come here for a smooth landing. You came here for a grand show.
jeez. It just vaporized itself. <laughs> Alright everyone, I think that's a good place to stop. Let me know in the comments, can you make something bigger that can fly just as well? I don't think you can. Prove me wrong. <laughs> but please consider liking and subscribing for more videos if you enjoyed this one. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.